Hey everybody, this is Aidy from Out of Photos, and today we're going to take a look at getting silky smooth water using the mixer brush in Photoshop. Okay, here we have an image of Big Ben. It was a long exposure, about 13 seconds. Uh, I quite like the detail in the sky but I think there's too much detail going on down here. It could have done with being a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a mixer brush to get rid of all the detail and make it look like it was a really long exposure. Uh, this is the effect that I come up with. That's how it come final. And then I obviously converted it into black and white, which I'll show at the end of the video. So to do this, I'm going to create a new layer to make sure we're working non-destructively. Come over to our normal brush, hold it down, and find the mixer brush. Now, if you've never used a mixer brush before, it's very simple. All it does is mixes the pixels together. And you can either add colours in with that or not. In this instance, we're not going to do any of that. So I'm going to click click off that one and make sure this one's clicked. That's going to make sure we're not sampling any colours. I'm going to use the wet preset with a very low flow. Probably somewhere near 10. Let's actually put that to 10. I'm going to make sure sample all layers is checked. That way we're working non-destructively. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. <coughs> Make sure my brush is a little bit bigger. And we're just going to paint over, mixing all the pixels together. Now I'm going to do all the shaded areas first with all the light areas. And then I can start blending the shadows together by zooming out and then mixing all that together. So you need to keep on going all over the image and finally finally you get to something that looks like that. So then I converted it into black and white and that's my final image. Thanks for watching the video and bye.